EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for October 24th, 2024. It is Thursday, and the Thursday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kleckner & Sons Appliances. Family-owned and operated Kleckner & Sons have been serving the Greater Lehigh Valley region since 1945. Kleckner & Sons are here to serve your appliance needs at two convenient locations in the Lehigh Valley, 2177 MacArthur Road in Whitehall and 575 Chestnut Street in Emmaus. The leader in sales and service prides itself on providing providing outstanding continuous customer service from the moment the customer steps through the door. Kleckner's provides a wide range of name brand appliances and parts to target all of your appliance needs. They also offer professional delivery and installation options as well as repair services performed by in-house qualified technicians. From kitchen renovations to small specialty appliances to a new laundry repair, Kleckner's has you covered. For more information or inquiries, please contact one of their showroom locations or check out their website at klecknerandsons.com or you can give them a call. The phone number above me here in the video, 610-433-4202. Experience a small business difference for yourself. Shop at Kleckner & Sons Appliances, proud sponsor of the Thursday video forecast. Nothing but mostly sunny skies again today. I know it sounds like a broken record. I keep saying this every single day. Big high pressure in control of our weather, and it's going to remain there for the next couple of days. The big difference between yesterday and the previous couple of days is we have a little bit of a trough coming in. Uh, that's going to give us some cooler temperatures. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, so temperatures are going to be kind of like near average or near to very slightly below uh, for the next two days, uh, for Thursday and Friday, mostly sunny skies both days. Uh, but we have no precipitation to speak of. We have another cold front that's going to be coming at us uh, late on Friday. And the cold front here is sitting, situated like this, heading toward us. But this, of course, like all other uh, cold fronts that will be coming at us, are just going to run out of steam and amount to nothing at all. As you can see here on the NAM, it's really doing nothing too. It has a couple showers with it but it just falls apart and doesn't reach hardly any of our area it can be it can there can be a stray shower somewhere but uh it wouldn't be exciting if it did unfortunately so uh we're going to continue like i've been saying in these videos uh we're going to continue for this uh foreseeable future here with the uh lack of precipitation it looks like it's going to go into sometime during the first week of november is when we're going to have our next chance of rain and this goes all the way through this weekend we will have another trough coming in this weekend uh saturday so we're gonna have that cold front move through still warm on saturday ahead of that frontal boundary till it fully moves through but it's going to be a lot cooler on sunday again and monday the temperatures on saturday they're going to be the mid to upper 60s so it's not going to be like it's you know like it like it just was but we are going to have uh temperatures going back down in the upper 50s to near 60 on sunday and monday and then we're going to rebound here on Tuesday and Wednesday. High pressure is going to move offshore. That's going to be sitting over here now on Tuesday. So with that return flow around this high pressure that is now offshore, you get more of a southerly wind component. This mouse isn't working very well today. Uh, around that, and it eventually becomes southwest by the time we get to Wednesday as this moves further offshore, this high pressure. And that is going to uh, lead to some warming temperatures, some ridging building in. We're going to have another uh, run at the mid to upper 70s, maybe even close to 80 degrees. Uh, just in time for Halloween, right? That's uh, going to be one of the warmest Halloweens we've had in uh, in about 20 years, it looks like it's, it's coming. Uh, here is the temperatures for uh, to the next two days, near to slightly below average. Then we have that kind of near to slightly above average day on Saturday, not much, mid-upper 60s, right? Then we have the colder temperatures coming in Sunday and Monday. And then here's Tuesday when we start to increase those temperatures, and it really picks up right around the Halloween and to start uh, November here with some very warm temperatures. This is not going to last, but, I mean, it's going to be starting to warm for several days, kind of like we just had. And it's going to be anomalously above average by some 10 to 15 degrees, it looks like, uh, once we get into uh, near Halloween and the beginning of November. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is our outlook for October 24th, 2024. Have a great Thursday.